Well, it's Severe Weather Awareness Week, and we continue looking ahead to what will likely become an active spring season as usual. Meteorologist Ben Dornbach has more on severe weather awareness preparations. We continue our Severe Weather Awareness Week by talking about how to make an emergency preparedness kit before you have to take shelter. And we thought of no one better to talk to than Heather Knipe from the American Red Cross. Heather, thanks for joining us. Thank you. And Heather, I want to talk to you about the fact that we have two different kits. I mean, obviously there are kits where you have to, you know, take with you, you know, if you have to evacuate, but there's also the kit that's just going to sit in your shelter in your house. So talk about the difference between those two kits. Okay, so for instance, you may have to shelter in place because you can't get out of your icy driveway to get to a shelter. So what do you do? We would like everybody to be prepared for a two week stay in their home. Not only do they have to make sure they have two weeks worth of food, water, that sort of thing, but they also need household supplies. Make sure you have enough toilet paper, laundry detergent, uh, pain relievers. What if you get sick during that time? You know, uh, acetaminophen, Motrin, your regular medications. Also, make sure that you can care for your elderly parents, maybe neighbors um, or other relatives. And so have a plan in place. What do you do if they get sick? What do you do if you get sick? Absolutely. So what would you say the main differences are between the two-week kit and the uh, evacuation kit, the one that might be a little shorter term? The evacuation kit is more you want information available to you about changing weather conditions that you're trying to get away from. You want shelter information like on the Red Cross app and you want comfort items and also some food and water to sustain you on your journey to get to a shelter. Um, the two-week kit, you're not going to be able to leave the house. So what does that mean? That means you need diapers for your children for two solid weeks because you will not be able to go to the store. That means making sure that you can get information on your phone, you have a way to keep it charged. Making sure you have a flashlight that will work and a radio to keep you apprised of information. All right, well, Heather, thank you so much for your expertise. Be sure to stay tuned for any other stories we might have as Severe Weather Awareness Week continues.